so I was talking about um, triggers last time. Triggers uh, that lead to um, an increase in expectations and then cause um, an emotional upset. Okay, so the triggers, I, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> they have to do with things in the things that I will suddenly perceive that make me think that the other person may be interested. And so I may be going along and I got myself very well convinced, okay, it's it's just me. I'm I'm just the only one having this nonsense in my head about a crush. And then I will you know, and I'm sure I'm ferreting these things out all the time just by, you know, looking looking into the environment, you know, looking on social media or whatever. But um, I will see some little clue. And that is exactly, I, I'm pretty sure I can pinpoint the moment when this last crush began to sort of descend or ascend or whatever in, in, through my head, through my psyche. Um, and it was a moment when um, the, the person the person has a certain uh, certain type of skill, and they had I I wanted some um, items of this, um, and it's a little hard to explain in an in oblique fashion. Um, okay, so. Then later on, on uh, on social media, the person made a reference, and, and this is how vague it really gets. You know, like made this reference about like, oh, if I, oh, oh, that they were into this certain person who had this skill, and if. Well, what it did was it made it seem like, you know, they, they said, well, I would be really into this, uh, I'd be really obsessed with this person if they, if I wanted these items of their skill. And suddenly, like, a thing clicked in my head, and I remember saying to myself, no, that's not the reason I want those. I only want them because I like the items. And... I'm not explaining that very well, but it's it's difficult anyway. But maybe maybe the idea will come through by the time I get to the end of this rant or whatever. But anyway, so I I remember saying, and this must have been a couple of months ago, and I said um, to myself, of course, oh no, that uh, that's not the reason that I want those, and it's true, but it's not the reason. But what it did was get me think thinking that they might think that I thought that way and that that was my motivation for wanting that and that they appeared to be noticing something along those lines. And then I checked inside myself and I remembered that there was something that had happened um, a number of years back and it was not resolved uh, or it was resolved poorly. Um, there was no resolution regarding this same particular person. And when I connected those two things together, the whole, well, I, you know, I'm not a Jungian anymore, but sometimes I like to use Jungian terminology. So anyway, the whole complex constellated. Uh, it just constellated in my brain again. And then I could tell it was turned on. At that point, it had turned on. And I was sunk. You know, it was like, once that thing got turned on, I was, I was in for another ride. And... So, you know, then, you know, a few other little things that could be interpreted, misinterpreted, or whatever. And there I was. And it didn't take much. 
you know, and I suppose this is just, you know, some strange evolutionary uh, mechanism to cause things to, to cause something to happen, um, you know, some in some way for survival of the species. You know, there must be a mechanism that causes people to look at things too closely and make inferences that don't really probably mean anything at all. Um, you know, because I know I've made inferences like that before. Now, now in my previous crush that that I had last year, um, there were a lot of inferences, but they were much more direct and they were much more regular and they were just kind of almost like an obvious play uh, that the person was playing with me, trying to get me to react. Um, and I did react because... Oh, you know, was a delightful person on certain levels, you know, having you know, certain kind of um, basic intellectual uh, skill. And, I don't know, a person from a different culture. But anyway, um, again, very hard to explain. But anyway, that was that was more clear to me that that there was something kind of going on. For this, it's like there's not really any realistic thing. It's just me pinpointing little things happening that might mean this or might mean that. And, well, I have to assume that they don't. Um, and try to bring myself back to that, try to pull myself out of that, and just remember, like, what is real? What is real? What is real is... I am here now. There isn't much more than that. And uh, what I have to do next, that's a reality. I have to go to work. I have to deal with this and that. And I should um, try to push myself a little harder to do some of the things that I really need to get done. And uh, think about this nonsense. Makes sense. Anyway, thank you for listening. Bye-bye for now.